Oh, I thought you were grandma. No, thanks for popping round. You're just in time. Would you like to see me make a church planter out of old pallet wood? Wouldn't I? I've got some scraps of wood here. And for the sizes I've got, I've measured them up and I've just made a little sketch so I can determine what size my church planter is going to be. I want to do the least amount of cutting that I can. So I'm just going to make the size of the church to fit the wood that I've got. So basically, it's going to be about 15 inches long for the main part of the church, 10 inches wide, 7 inches high, and then the roof on top, whatever that is. And then I'll make the actual turret or the steeple bit to fit relative to the rest of the church. So I've marked my wood out with my square at 45 degrees angle. I'll set my chop saw anyway to 45 degrees. And then I'll put them together with the sides. I'll cut that to length for the sides. And I'll use this for a little bit of infill for the corners to give it some strength. The bits of wood that I've got left over, I'll use for the base. You won't see that anyway because they'll be covered in soil. Easy. I'll chop the angles. My sides are actually six and three eighths. So I'm going to make the height from the end of the roof to the base the same so it will match the height of the sides. Just about to chop them to length. I've got one end piece done now. I'm just going to make, put some battens on there, screw them down just to give it some strength and I've got some corner pieces for when I put the side ends on. So I'm just going to screw them down and then I'll make the other side as well. One end done. Just going to make the other end now. That's the two ends done. Now all I have to do is cut the sides to the length that I need and then attach them to the ends. That's my four sides cut to length now. I put the screws in already. All I'm going to do is attach it to the ends, turn it over and that's nearly done and then we'll work on the base. basis of the church. I've just got to put the base on obviously to stop the soil falling out uh, and then we can carry on with the turret or the steeple. Now for this I'm not going to be a scientific I'm just going to cut any old pieces of wood just to fit in there if it doesn't all go together perfectly it's drainage for the soil. And there you have it. Once it's filled with soil you won't see the support buttons and it'll all look tidy and once you've got the plants in it, job done. We're going to finish off this project then by making the bell tower or the steeple. Um, I use pallet wood and for some projects I'll actually plane it down using my planer and then I'll thicken it using the thicknesser. Um, if you're going to use pallet wood make sure you take all the nails out because you will regret it if you don't. Um, very expensive to go through a planer with nails in. Um, now I can see through the holes, I've taken all these out, but you might still have a nail or a bit of metal in there. 
I got an earth magnet on a bit of wire and I just run this over the holes and as soon as it detects metal it snaps to it so I know there is a nail in there so I'm going to remove that I'm not going to plane this anyway but if you are take the nails out so my bell tower is going to be 14 inches tall so I'm just going to cut four pieces of pallet wood 14 inches and then I'm going to assemble it together as a box so what do I mean by box section I do them overlapping like that so that it comes out square you could make it rectangular by putting this piece at the side of this piece if you wanted to it doesn't really matter while it's at this shape though I'm going to cut a piece of wood and slot it in for the depth so I don't need to use all that soil so there we are I've just put a little piece in the center there uh, and then I only need to use that much soil just going to finish it off with the last side and then I'll show you the scientific bit which is making the actual castellations along the top so there we have it my box section which is going to be the bell tower uh, I'm going to put the castellations on before I attach it to the church rest of the church uh, that'll be make it easier to do now I'm just going to mark them out with pencil again it just doesn't need to be really accurate from a distance nobody will see the accuracy uh, the way I do it is mark it out just to get a sort of perspective and then drill an hole through and then I use my jigsaw just to square it off so I've marked it out I think you can just about make that out and then I've just penciled in the bits that I want to remove and then I'm just going to drill a hole so the bottom of the hole is on that line and then use my jigsaw just to square it out so I'll do the first one show you what I mean and then I'll finish off and do the rest so I've drilled the holes now I'm just going to square them off with my jigsaw so jigsaw at the ready I'm just going to square them off that's the first one done I'll do the other sides and then the last bit is just to attach it to the rest of the church last piece for this bit of an exercise is just to trim the bit of burring or shavings off and um, just make it a little bit tidier you can spend as much time but again it's from a distance nobody's going to see it and there we have it very last bit now is just to attach it to the rest of the church There you have it, church planter, all from pallet wood. Just a bit of advice if you're using screws, if you use nails when it gets wet you'll find that it distorts and pulls the nails out. I use these cheap screws I stop just before it gets to the tapered bit on the head because if you drive it in too much you'll split the wood and you don't want to do that you could pre-drill and countersink it to prevent that happening but again it's time so just stop it just slightly short just so it's almost just flush or just a little bit proud of the wood thank you for watching Pop by again, we'll make something else. I've got to go, Grandma's shouting.